What's up guys, how you all doing? Now, this setup that I've got here is exactly what you guys asked for. Because in my first mining video, I said to you guys, if you hit that like button and you leave a comment down below and you want me to go more in depth, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So that is exactly what I've done. And thank you very much for the support on that video and all the great comments and feedback. So this video is gonna be an in-depth look or a partially in-depth look at exactly how I made this. So in the previous video, I gave you an introduction as to what I was doing. And the same goes in this one. All the links to all of these products are down in the description below. If you could use those, that would be absolutely fantastic. And any other links as well to various outside organizations are in that video description as well. So go ahead and use those if you need to. Now, what I've got here is my rig that's all made and ready and in fact it's running and believe it or not it's earning me money right this second every second that passes it's generating cryptocurrency and putting it into my wallet and making me money which is fantastic my return on investment is somewhere in the region of about four months so that's pretty cool but that is basing it on the fact that this will have zero resale value, which is not true. All of this stuff will be able to be resold in maybe a year's time and upgraded, and therefore obviously contributing towards the kit uh, that you're gonna use next that will make it faster and obviously earn you more money. So let me run you through what I did. Now, first of all, I built this rig here. This is just a wooden rig and you want this to be as cheap as possible, the same as you want everything to be as cheap as possible. So this particular one I made myself, but you can buy them on uh, Amazon. They're extremely cheap and they take minutes to throw together. Now, additionally to that, I've also got the graphics cards. So I went with the RX 580s, but there are other ones that will earn you more money and there are other ones that will earn you less money. There's loads and loads of calculators what, like whattomine.com, for example, that will tell you exactly what your, not exactly, but they'll give you an approximation of what your returns will be based upon the different cards that you use. My recommendation would be either the RX 580s or the Nvidia 1060s. Now, you can obviously use the 1080 Ti's and they'll earn you more money, but they cost two to three times as much. So it's really about trying to get the maximum bang for buck, but also, in my opinion, reliability as well, which is why I went for the AMDs. So you can do that and you can check all that out online and you can work out what your rewards are gonna be. Now, I, you also need a motherboard. I went for this one, which is the uh, ASRock 110 Pro BTC Plus. Now this one's actually got, I think, 11 or 13 inputs, although if you were to use all of them, they'd be extremely close together, so you'd have to tape up your risers. Um, I'm gonna go with six. Now originally I bought eight cards, but I just found that I could get better stability with six, and six seemed to be a nice number in terms of power and all that kind of stuff as well. Now in terms of power, I went with this here. This is the Corsair HX1200i, and that is an expensive power supply. You don't need to go with one that expensive. You can get smaller ones and put them together, or you can go down the other route, which would be to buy a second-hand power supplies off eBay and utilize those. And there's a whole bunch of content out there, including on my vlog channel, about how you can use uh, those server PSUs, second-hand ones, to, to be extremely economical. Next up, you're gonna need a CPU and some memory. Go with the cheapest ones you can. They're irrelevant when it comes to the kind of mining that we're gonna be doing. Additionally to that, you're gonna need a disk. Now, I went with SSD because it uses less power and it's also faster as well, and they're not very expensive. All you need to fit on it is a reasonable size page file and the operating system. That is it, so don't worry about size or capacity at all. Just get yourself some kind of storage. Now, the last thing you're gonna need is risers. As you can see down here, these graphics cards are all separated out. The reason for that is that there's no way they're gonna be able to all plug into the motherboard. You simply don't have the space. So, it's important to bring them out and space them out because of cooling, ventilation, and everything else. So, that's the reason they're all separated like this. These things are gonna generate a lot of heat and they're also gonna generate noise, which you may even be able to hear in the background now. 
So you're going to need to put these somewhere that's got good cooling, more importantly, good um, excavation of air, of hot air, uh, and also uh, somewhere that you don't have to worry about it being noisy because it is going to get noisy. Now, once you've got all of that stuff, you simply bolt it all together and plug it all in and it's pretty straightforward. Now, the option that I've gone for in terms of the actual mining that you can see going on here, I believe, unless it's timed out, it's probably timed out, uh, is with nice hash. Now, yes, they did get hacked recently, but that's probably gonna mean they're gonna be pretty much invincible moving forward. So I've opted to go with that and it's extremely simple. You install Windows, you install the drivers for your cards, make sure you use the right ones, that is the, the key to everything. And then you install NiceHash, you do some benchmarks, and you run it. You point it to your Bitcoin wallet, and it starts paying you out in Bitcoin once a day, and it works pretty much flawlessly. Now, a couple of little extra things. You're gonna need a USB key to install this stuff in the first place. You're also gonna need um, some network connectivity. Now, on this motherboard, it does have ethernet, but you do need to install a driver to get it working. You can go out and you can buy little Wi-Fi things like this that are AC, really, really decent, and cost literally a few pounds or a few dollars. And again, I'll link these down in the video description. Now, one thing that I've also gone for is this. This is a tiny little Wi-Fi plug for your mains. And it's a smart plug. This one, believe it or not, ridiculously cheap and also integrates with uh, Google and also Amazon Alexa. So you can reboot your machine remotely. So go into the BIOS of the machine, tell it that you want it to power on in the event of a power failure. And if you have any problems whatsoever when you're out and about, you get notified by a nice hash or something else that it's gone down and you simply connect up over the internet and reboot it remotely and it's gonna go straight in, log in and start mining straight away. Now obviously downtime costs you, so you don't want any downtime. So these like little extra bits just go towards contributing to make sure you don't get that downtime and you can connect up remotely. Now additionally to that, you can install some remote access uh, software on the machine itself. I'm actually using something called Remotix, but you can use whatever you want. And once you've done that, you can simply grab your phone and you can connect up remotely. So what you probably should see now, because I'm connecting in, is hopefully the screen come back on. And in fact, you can see that all now. And I'm doing this all remotely on my phone and it will work perfectly well over a 4G connection. So you can, you can do that as well. Currently at the moment, I am mining at about $30 per day. So when you take away sort of about 15% electricity costs, you're still earning a decent amount of money and still getting a pretty fast return on your investment. So that is everything that I've got set up at the moment. Uh, if you guys wanna know any more information other than this, let me know in the video comments. Please do go ahead, hit that like button for me. I really do appreciate it. And yeah, hope that was useful. I will see you guys in the next video, hopefully, where you've all had a go and tried making money yourself. And in fact, one last thing. If you've got a PC at the moment that's got a half decent graphics card in it, go ahead, install nice hash on it, and you can actually start mining straight away and earning money from the PC that you've already got. Anyway guys, that's it from me. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you all in the next video. Peace.